Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Auto. So here we have another Renault Kangoo crew van. It's 100% electric, the ZE33, 33 kilowatt hour battery pack. This one is just turned 12 months old. It's registered 31st of the 12th, 2019. It's uh, come in direct from Renault UK and it's only done 700 miles. So the crew vans are a five seater van and then this rear bench seat here folds down by clicking a lever there and it's all nicely weighted so you can do it one-handed and then you get this folding mesh steel bulkhead which protects the um, passengers from any um, load in the cargo area and then um, you can lift it from either side but you just pull that tag there you can fold the seats up and uh, yeah it's a really nice system and it seats five people you've got five seat belts so yeah, it's a very practical five-seater crew van. Glass on the sliding doors on both sides. These open as well, they just hinge like that a little bit. You've got no glazing in the back. Uh, this one has also got parking sensors down here as well, which isn't standard. Uh, we can see here we've got the I letter and the I means it's battery owned, so there's no battery lease like the previous generation Kangoo electrics and ZE33 means it's got the 33 kilowatt hour battery pack. So looking inside the cargo area, when the seats are up and in use, it's not much smaller than a standard medium wheel base Kangoo. And then when the seats are down, then it's pretty much the same size as your standard maxi van. Here we have a toolkit, your um, brace and jack, but these don't have a spare wheel. Normally on the crew on the standard vans, they mount a spare wheel underneath the floor there, but on the crew vans, they have to do away with that. Um, but you still get the toolkit. Uh, but what you have here is a puncture repair kit, a bottle of gunk, and a pump. So let's next talk about charging. So your charge port is at the front here behind the Renault badge and this is a 7 kilowatt AC type 2 charging port. These don't have DC rapid charging, it's AC charging only at 7 kilowatt. So um, ideally you would charge at night uh, or during the day when the van's not being used. Maybe you're on site and you can get a top up on a normal main socket. And then in the back here is your charge cable. This is an AC type two to type two. So that's the end that you have on all charging post and home and workplace charges. They're all type two. And then this end, you've got type two as well to go in the front of the van. So that's what you would use to connect the van to a public workplace or home wall charger. I can also supply a portable charging cable, often called a granny cable, and that will allow you to charge the vehicle from a normal main socket. That will take longer because those can only draw 2.3 kilowatt, whereas that will draw 7 kilowatt using a proper charger. But it's a very handy thing to have, as I said, if you're on site during the day, you can get a top up um, or you can use it until you get a proper wall charger installed, but ultimately you will want to get a wall charger installed. And then if I just jump in, let's just start it up. So you can see there the mileage, it is only done 754 miles. So this has got air conditioning as well. That again isn't standard on these. It's also got a passenger airbag. Again, that isn't standard. And this one has also got an alarm fitted as well. And then uh, the radio here, single slot CD. It's also got DAB radio, Bluetooth as well. And then we've got um, steering uh, audio controls here behind the steering wheel. The heater on these is a heat pump. The previous generation Kangoo Electric had a resistive heater but this has got a heat pump, so it's much more efficient. And we've also got uh, preconditioning. And we can see here we've got a little timer symbol on both the hot and the cold. So um, what you do is you set a time on the dash here, what time you want to leave in the morning. And while the vehicle is still connected to your charger, it will switch on and prepare the vehicle for your drive. So in the winter, it will put the heating on, get the cabin nice and warm. It will also melt all the ice off the windscreen and side windows if it's frosty. And when you then disconnect, 
you still got 100% range because your battery is still charged and your cabin's preconditioned so maybe you can do your drive without the heating on at all or with less heating and it's all about preserving um, range and driving more efficiently and in the summer it does the same but it uses the air conditioning and it cools the vehicle down before your drive so the range of these obviously it's got that 33 kilowatt hour battery pack um, so range is very much dictated by um, the size of the battery and how you drive how efficient you drive just like a petrol or diesel um, but if you drive these relatively efficiently you're going to get about 130 miles in the uh, summer. Uh, if you're in uh, doing urban driving in towns or cities and it's lower speed and lots of stop start driving then you will get more than that. Um, and then in the winter uh, you're going to get about a hundred miles or so at worst if you're driving uh, in the cold with the heating on all the time. Um, as always it depends on driving efficiency. So the purpose of this video primarily is to describe the condition and if you've seen my videos before you know I point out every little minor stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything and then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle without coming here to uh, view it first and I can get these vehicles delivered anywhere in the country. So with this one as I said it's only done 700 miles, it's come from NAUK, UK and it's still in factory delivered showroom condition. You really wouldn't even know it's done those miles. So there really isn't anything to point out on this one. As you can see on the inside, it's all still like new. Um, I will be providing a set of carpet mats front and back. They just haven't uh, arrived yet, but I'll obviously be put in before the vehicle's delivered. But yeah, it's still a new vehicle, hasn't been used. And then uh, if we just look round in the cargo area again, as you can see, nothing's ever gone down on this steel floor. Um, there's only one little scratch there actually uh, yeah but yeah really nice just never been used and all still looking like new I'm being super picky I have noticed there is a slight indentation in this panel here but it's so minor that uh, you can feel it but you can't see it and most people just wouldn't even realize that was there and we've got the new green number plates on this because green means it is a zero emission vehicle. So many are going to want to know about the battery pack. The batteries are absolutely bulletproof on these. They will more than last the life of the vehicle. Uh, but anyway, I've scanned the battery pack and the battery is currently at 100% state of health. So all the details are on the website. And uh, if you're interested, give me a call or email. This one is ready to go. And uh, as I said, I can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a trailer or a flatbed and it will be fully charged and ready to use.